Laptops are great devices, but they're quite fragile. They can't survive drops and other kind of stuff. Well, this one here kind of can. Hey guys, this is Varun from Mr. Phone, and today we have the Nextco Primus with us, which the company claims is one of their most indestructible business laptops. Um, kind of. Now, let me just make one thing very clear. This is not a review. You can find the link to the review, like full, complete, Mr. Phone style, thorough review. The link to that will be in the description box below. Now, this is a durability test, an extreme push it to the limits test. And for that, I would advise you to subscribe to the Mr. Phone channel as well. So you get notified of all our future updates, videos, all these kind of crazy videos, camera comparison, reviews, tech news, Tamil news, you know the drill. Well then, let's get started. Also, I'm sure you haven't heard the words sponsored anywhere. That's because this video hasn't been. Yeah, go figure. But yeah, basically if anything goes wrong, rest assured, I'll be down 1,10,000. So when I went to the laptop's briefing, the company showed us a lot of demo footage, which was, to be very honest, kind of exaggerated. Well, I wanted to push things out a little more realistically. Like pushing it to the limits, but in a more realistic scenario, which is something that you guys would be more interested in. For instance, like sliding this off the table, like this. All right then, moment of truth, I guess. Uh, this is the laptop. Okay, let's see. Just. Hmm. Oh, it's on. It's on. And it recognizes me. That's logged in. Yep. I mean, it does get this little mark over here. That's all. But yeah, works. Yeah, this this tiny little piece broke off. Kind of. But at least it's working. It was on when I dropped it. It's still working. Now, I know a lot of you guys will be like, you know, the laptop's lid was closed. Bro, this is not realistic, the lid was closed, you know, it will survive that, it's not realistic. What if you're working on it and then something happens? Like, for instance, you're sitting somewhere and your laptop is charging, right? And someone steps on the cable. The laptop will just drop, it will just get off the table. Something like, uh, if they would just take it in a much better way now. So, I will follow something like, uh, this is a wide frame now, I guess, right, Devon? Yeah. Okay. A little scratch here, a little scratch there. Deep curve, but damn, it's working. I swear, I swear, I'm not even kidding. When I threw the laptop down, I was thinking that it might just like it'll be a little crack or something. But it fell down. The screen just went out flat. I swear I wasn't expecting something like that to happen. And everything is just working fine. Just look at this thing. It's it's like, you just blog me. Yeah. So yeah, there is no scratches, nothing on the screen. Touchpad works. Keyboard also works, I guess. Yeah. There's a fingerprint scanner that should work apparently. And yeah, speakers, um, yeah. There's no scratches or anything as such. So yeah. The laptop does survive, FT falls as well. Cool. Let's take things to the next level. Onto the stairs. <clears throat> so I'll be walking up the stairs and the laptop will be at my waist height. I'm 6 foot 2, so I think that should be like, the average height for most users. The waist height of the laptop, like this. And let's see what happens when it falls. Let's hope nothing breaks. Keep the camera rolling no matter what happens bro because I know I'm gonna react in a very bad manner. The thoughts, the thoughts make noise. Moment of truth. Let's 
As you can see, lots and lots of scratches out there. Uh, it's pretty much ruined. So I'm guessing I'll have to pay the company something. <laughs> something at least. But yeah, it's still working. So let's take it down to one more level. I'm sure you might be guessing where the laptop is, right? So it's down there. So the company did this bizarre thing of actually showing people exercising on the laptop. I'm not going to do that, but Let's consider the situation where someone drops their laptop and then someone walks over it. Like, you know, something like this or this or this. You know, I'm not even stepping off it, but it feels durable right now. I'm not even kidding about that. It actually feels damn cute. <laughs> I heard a crack. I heard a crack. And it's cracked. Oh well, look. It's a crack. But is the laptop working? Well, I do see a LED over there. So I'm guessing it's working. It is still working. Oh well. But there's a crack. So yeah. There's that. Hey guys, so now we're in the office canteen, cafeteria, whatever. Actually in the main cooking kitchen, whatever. And this is the sink. Right. So now you must be wondering why the sink. Uh, so the company actually showed me videos that the laptop was quite waterproof as well. It can survive water as well. Now you know those are demo units or that's a demo footage. So I wanted to test that out as well. Uh, well, laptop is on. Yeah, it's on. It's on. It's on. Oh boy, the game is on. Alright. Let's get ready to rumble. Currently, it has. Yep, still working. Still freaking working. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. That is actually more like it. Ah. I'm not sure what the sound will be after this. So, I'll be checking on the sound as well. Right? Let's try it off a bit. Oh, oh this is funny. Yeah. Let's try it off a bit. I think it shut down. No, it's on. It's on, it's on, it's on, don't worry. It's on. Probably went to sleep. No, it shut down actually. It actually shut down, guys. It actually shut down. I want that to be noted. It did shut down. Now, the moment of truth would be... I mean, it's still working. Yep. Still running things. I think the water got inside, which is why it shut down. Uh, does the camera work? The camera obviously should work. There's no effect on the camera. Camera works. Logging me in. I'm logged in. Let's quickly go on to Mr. Phone's YouTube to play a video of you and me. Yeah, see, you can see Chrome says that it did not shut down properly. So, yeah, there's no proof that it did shut down on its own. Then there's Mr. Phone. I can see the water jumping off the keyboard. Mr. Phone, best apps. Oh yeah, Mr. Phone, best apps. Because, why not? So yeah. You can see the speakers. Wait, there's more to this. See this? Yeah, that's right. This is a 3D live wallpaper and you can play with it all you want. The free version comes with a single So yeah, it'll take time to dry off. But rest assured, this laptop still works. And so the water test, basically. So yeah. Hey guys, just a quick update. So I know the settings changed a lot because we are recording this video after doing all those durability tests and everything. So what happened with the laptop after that water test is that it did shut down on its own, did not boot up for about an hour or so, which ultimately made me question my <coughs> procedure. So what I did was actually open everything up. I don't have a footage of it. I do have an internal shot of it. So here's a shot of the laptop, how it looks from inside. If you actually want to know the internal layout. 
but the main point here is that you need to clean it up you need to dry it off even though the laptop is spill proof let me assure you it's water resistant not waterproof so you need to clean it because once the water peeps down through the speaker grill onto the motherboard obviously there is going to be water damage so rest assured although your data is safe because the ssd and everything is very well placed you still need to clean it out just to ensure that the laptop is still working i dried it off cleaned it everything and within about 15 minutes it was back to working condition so yeah just a pointer for you guys don't think that if you if you're going to buy this laptop it'll be waterproof it's water resistant not waterproof keep that in mind guys well that was something <laughs> i mean okay i did not expect the laptop to actually survive it all i was kind of expecting it to break halfway through it and even though it did there's a break over here there's a little dent over here but the thing that to be noted is that when the company says it's indestructible the point is that rest assured your data and everything that you're running will be safe and that is something that i feel the laptop did manage to achieve so if you're looking for a business laptop a premium laptop that is also durable i think the nexgo primus is actually one of the better options out there it is actually quite durable i honestly did not even expect it to actually have this much of durability this much strength i mean uh, after the shot after the drop test was done i was actually discussing it with deva manshri that there's actually a dent down there at the floor it's wooden flooring over here in our office and there's a dent over there that is how strong this thing is i don't know what material they're using they haven't mentioned it anywhere but this is and the performance is great too you can check about all of that in the link in the description box below i uh, for me i would say that this laptop certainly does survive the durability test it was something super extreme it did survive all of that and I can easily recommend it for its durability. And well, that's all from my side. This is Warren from Mr. Phone, and I'll see you in the next crazy video that we can shoot, hoping that some company actually decides to send us a product like this that I can push to the limits for you know the views, the gram, and stuff. Cool stuff. I hope you guys liked it. Yeah. See ya. Okay, that was a stupid move to do, but yeah, whatever. See ya.